Mahabharata, Episode 13 Events moved swiftly now, with both the Pandavas and Kauravas striving to line up as many allies as possible for the impending war. Triodhana had gathered support from the powerful Bhishma, Dronacharya, Kripacharya and Karna, whom, despite disagreeing with his decision in their heart of hearts, followed their loyalty to him rather than loyalty to dharma. To put things into perspective, Swami explains that in ancient times, a battle formation consisted of several Akshohinis. One Akshohini included the following 21,870 chariots, 21,870 elephants, 65,610 cavalry or soldiers that would fight on horseback, and 109,350 infantry or soldiers that would fight on foot. The Pandavas had amassed seven Akshohinis by the time the battle would take place, whereas the Kauravas had 11 Akshohinis in their army. In accordance with all of the injunctions of war, the rules of combat, place of fighting and hours of fighting were all meticulously laid down and both sides swore total commitment to the observance of the rules. Thus it was that Kurukshetra came to be the venue for the battle and each day the fighting was to conclude at sunset. On the eve of battle, Madhukunti paid Karna a visit and revealed to him that he was in fact her son, born to her by the blessings of Lord Surya himself. She pleaded with him to join the Pandavas and even promised that when victory was won, it would be him and not Yudhisthira who would be crowned the monarch. Karna was overjoyed to hear that he was of royal lineage, but he declined his mother's offer. He said, Mother, for me, loyalty overrides all other considerations. I am in no position to pass judgment over Driyodhana. He gave me shelter and support when no one else did, and my duty is by his side, irrespective of his intrinsic qualities. Swami has on many occasions praised Karuna, but has also pointed out that for all his noble qualities, Karna committed one fatal blunder. He surrendered himself totally to Driyodhana because he felt that Driyodhana saved his honor in an hour of need. Swami says, Total surrender must only be to God and not to man, whomever that may be. Any pledge given to another human must be restricted when the issue of God becoming a priority arises.